Hey artists, it's Miss Kit, and thanks for joining me in the art room. We're going to move, dance, listen, and even make art together. But before we get started, let's say our art room mantra. You can repeat after me using the American Sign Language for each statement. Here we go. I am positive. I am positive. I am creative. I am creative. I am mindful. I am mindful. I am amazing. I am amazing. I am an artist. I am an artist. Great job, everybody. That helps our minds and bodies get ready to start our art making. Now, let's take a... Hello? Miss Kit, Miss Kit, before we start, we need to tell everyone watching what the word of the day is. Oh, thanks, Mona. I almost forgot. Everyone repeat after me. Hey, Mona. Hey, Mona. What's the word of the day? What's the word of the day? The word of the day is line. Line is one of the elements of art, and it is a very important ingredient to use in art making. It can be used as a mark, an outline, and oftentimes it will have direction, width, and length. And when you're painting with line, it sometimes can be referred to as a stroke. Thanks, Mona. Now, with the word of the day, every time you hear us say the word line, I want you to scream. Got it? Good. So today we will dance, draw, sing, and look at some art, and even make some art using different kinds of lines. Oh! <laughs> Great. Let's turn it over to Duchess Doodle, who will show us how to create different kinds of L-I-N-E-S. Over to you, Miss Duchess Doodle. Oh, hello, my darlings. My name is Duchess Doodle, and I'll be here with you for each episode to take you on an art journey. And guess what? Today is all about journeys. Today is not going to be about lines. Ah! No, today we're going to call them pathways. Let's see what we can do with pathways, my friends. Off we go. So for this activity, you'll need some white paper, a sketchbook or some scrap paper for your ideas and a black marker or a black crayon, something that's going to show up really well when you do your pathways. I'm going to start this activity by collecting as many different types of l oh, pathways as I can on a scrap piece of paper or in my sketchbook. Then I can use these to help me with the next part of my activity. Right, my dears, we're going to start by taking all of those different l uh, pathways on little journeys all over our page. Are we ready? Let's go. So I'm going to start with a loop-de-loop. -loop. Oh, we love a loop-de-loop. -loop. Look at that luscious loop looping all over my page. And then, very carefully, I'm going to do a little zigzagging. Off we go. You'll notice I started at a different point this time. Don't want it to get too crowded. Here we go. Oh, wiggly, squiggly, squiggly, squiggly all over my page. And let's see if we can get a wavy one in. Here we go. Now, I wonder if we might do a few dots. 
one of the ways that you can make your pathway really pop out is by fattening him up a little bit. Oh, there we go. Oh, add a little bit of weight to them and make them thicker. There we go. He's had his breakfast this morning. Oh, there we go. Excellent. I think we need to speed this up a bit. There we go. And look, you can see there are lots of different pathways. Look, there's one that's got a thick area and then it goes thin and then thick again, wiggling all the way around. I tried so hard to work slowly and carefully with my marker. Now it's your turn. Off you go, my darlings. Thanks, Duchess Doodle, for showing us how to use different kinds of lines. <gasps> ah! <laughs> <laughs> now that we've been sitting for a while, I'm ready to start moving and grooving. Let's check out to see what Tanya McFlurry is up to and maybe join her for one of her Elements of Art workout. All right, let's see. Hey dudes and dudettes, it's Tanya McFlurry and I'm here to get your body moving, get your body grooving, and have a little workout with the elements of art. Now your word of the day is L-I-N-E, which is one of the elements of art, but instead of saying it, we're going to replace it with the word banana. That's right dudes and dudettes, every time you would say the word Instead, say banana. The actions still say the same, but the word is different. Okay, let's begin our warm up. I need everyone to get their keister up off the couch. That's right, I'm talking to you. Get that tushy up off that floor. And let's start our workout to the elements of art. Let's begin with our warm up, just side to side, real easy like. Step side to side, step side to side, and repeat after me. The elements of art. Great job. The elements of art. Oh yeah, they make me wanna move side to side. <laughs> move side to side. Great job, dudes and dudettes. Let's add our elements. Repeat after me. Banana. Shape. Space. Color. Texture. Value. And form, form for form. Oh yeah, form, form for form. Great job. Let's do a little faster from the top. And five, six, seven, eight. Banana, shape, space, color, texture, value, and form. Form for form. Oh yeah, form, form for form. Woo! <laughs> Woo, my heart rate is getting up there. <laughs> if you need a drink of water, go ahead and go get it. But not me. Oh no, not Tanya McFlurry. I am a hydration a station. <laughs> Dudes and dudettes, it's time to add some different pathways and movements to our bananas. So repeat after me. Here we go in five, six, seven, eight. Zigzag banana, your turn. Zigzag banana, great job. Wiggly banana, your turn. Wiggly banana, great job. Diagonal banana. Uh, diagonal, banana, yeah, loop-de-loop, -loop, banana, your turn, loop-de-loop, -loop, banana, great job, vertical, banana, vertical, banana, okay, let's do it one time from the top, real fast, here we go, zigzag, banana, wiggly, banana, 
diagonal banana. Whoopsie loo banana. Radical banana. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. Whew. Does anyone smell toast? <laughs> oh. Tanya, are you okay? Nope, I am fine. <laughs> I am just fine. You guys do one more rep, all right? I'm gonna go check to see if that toaster is left on. All right, I'll see ya. See ya. Thanks, Tanya. Maybe go have a lie down, have a rest. And, and thanks for teaching us how to use our body to make different kinds of bananas. <laughs> hey, I know. We should check out to see what Venus McArtsy is up to. Let's tune in. Hey, rock stars. Venus McArtsy, and I'm in front of a very famous work of art entitled The Starry Night. This painting was created by Vincent van Gogh way back in 1889. Vincent used oil paint and a paintbrush to create small little brush strokes creating lines. These lines of color created movement in his painting. From the swirling sky to the hilltops, the trees and the roofs, this painting, The Starry Night, looks like it's almost moving. Rock stars, I've got a challenge for you. Your challenge is to create your own work of art inspired by the starry night and also use lots of little lines to do it. All right, challenge accepted? Good, let's take a look. Rockstars, we're going to map out our artwork the same as the original painting. Using things you have at home, you can use markers, crayons, or colored pencils. I'm using Crayola markers and we'll start in the foreground with that tall, big black tree. Notice, Rockstars, how I'm using short, little <coughs> pathways to create the shape of the tree. Then move on to the sky. Here I'm adding yellow to create the outline shape of the moon. I'm overlapping color to build that night sky. Then use those short little uh -huh lines to create the swirly patterns in the clouds. Then create the stars, the twinkle, the tops of the hills, the houses. Everything that you see, you will use lines to create it. Add some purple into the swirling hills. Add those same purple pathways into the sky and use diagonal, horizontal, vertical <clears throat> lines to create the town at the bottom of the painting as well. Fill in some of the areas with more colors, more <clears throat> pathways to finish your artwork. And there you have it, rock stars, a work of art inspired by the Starry Night by Vincent van Gogh. Well done. All right, rock stars, that's the challenge. Use that artwork by Vincent van Gogh as inspiration to create your own and use lots and lots of little lines. This is Venus McArtsy saying over and out, but don't forget, rock stars, Keep on rocking in the free world. Thanks, Venus. I've seen that painting before, but I never really realized it was lots of different lines. <gasps> ah! 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 <laughs> hey, let's go check out what Peggy and Joe are up to, shall we? Hi kids, I'm Peggy and I'm Jo and, and we're the Arpeggios. La 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 la. It's music time. We've got a song for you today all about lines. Ah. Because this is a song about lines, we have a special rule for you. Oh no, Peggy, a rule? Yes, Joe, a rule. Okay, here it is. 
when we're singing, we're not going to stop whenever we say the word of the day. We're going to keep singing until the very end. Then we get to scream. Okay, so even if I hear, I'm not going to scream, I save it for the end. Save it for the end. Okay, let's do it. Now, in this song, I'm going to be the leader. At the end, I'm going to make a pose. And Peggy, you do what I do. Okay, here we go. Come and follow me in a line, in a line. Come and follow me, we will stop like this. Oh! Wow! Can I take a turn now? You be the leader, I'll follow you. All right, here we go. Come and follow me in a line, in a line. Come and follow me, we will stop like this. Oh! Wow, that was a fun game, Peggy. Now, we've got a special way that we can read this music map. We've got our song, and we know how to read the music. One minute. Hey, Peggy, you've got a music map. And you brought your ukulele. Yes. All right, here's our music map. We're going to use our fingers, sing the song, and trace the... Come and follow me. Whole bodies, come and follow me. Come and follow me in a line, in a line. Come and follow me, we will stop like this. Here's another shape. Come and follow me in a line, in a line. Come and follow me, we will stop like this. Now try moving like a squiggly line. Can you guess what this shape is? You're right, it's a heart. Ooh, this one's a challenge. Come and follow me in a line, in a line. Come and follow me, we will stop like this. Let's spiral it out. Whoa, pointy and swirly. Try it out. Come and follow me in a line, in a line. Come and follow me, we will stop like this. One more mystery shape. You're right, it's a star. Thanks for playing. Thanks, Peggy and Joe, for showing us how to move in a line. Ah! 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 <laughs> Artists, I've had a great time with you in the art room. We doodled, we looked at art, we danced in different pathways, and we even worked out using our bodies to create different bananas. Now don't forget artists, make art, be art. We'll see you next time in Miss Kit's Art Room. Bye-bye.